Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. We are going to watch more Golden Carmoy Season 4, Episode 5. Sometimes I don't know on which side he really is. Because he's aware of Trumi's games. I'm not really sure. Yeah, if, as if she would tell you about this. <laughs> she will keep this as a secret. So creepy. <laughs> I think she would rather die than telling him about uh, the secret where the gold is. <laughs> oh, I didn't know he was still around. I thought he had left the group. What was his name again? <laughs> well, yeah, he really has. <laughs> he has big testicles. What? <laughs> I'm aware of it. <laughs> Good. I don't know how to talk. <laughs> so cute. Chikapasi, that was his name. Oh, his little girlfriend. <laughs> How big are they actually? Because that paw print is massive. Yeah, of course. That's what she's thinking about. Yeah, <laughs> what it, it brain tastes like. <laughs> oh, we get another lesson. In camping. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, she's both modern and traditional. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the question. Oh, wait, he is with them now. <laughs> I thought, okay, what is he doing? <laughs> Oh, the early filmmakers. Oh! Oh no, not that thing again. Oh god, that's huge! Oh my god, watch out! I hope he got it on camera. <laughs> How does that even work with that handle? <laughs> no, she's feeding him the brain. <laughs> That's his reward. <laughs> in the, in the. <laughs> Why is he so fixated on brain? Mm hmm. Okay. A cinematograph. Uh, is it that thing that spins around inside? Mm -hmm. Maybe, yeah. Uh huh. Ah, cool. I wonder if he was inspired by a real person, by a real filmmaker. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I mean, just imagine it if you see something like this for the first time, that must be mind blowing. Oh, okay, I thought why would they why would they not record any of the, the stories or the folk tales? But maybe they can add like subtitles or Yeah, come on, give her a chance, please. <laughs> okay, just wait for it. <laughs> Don't mess with her. Don't mess with Tsukimoto. <laughs> She looks like a filmmaker. <laughs> she even has the chair. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be good. Uh. <laughs> yeah, of course. 
course, of course, yes. <laughs> so is this thing is thick as a as a fishing rod? Yeah, you have to over exaggerate. <laughs> oh, my God, his <It's> poor Chimpo. <laughs> Talents. <laughs> oh god, they even gave her gave him a tattoo. <laughs> Is this the same guy? Oh, that guy is blessed. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's standing close with his chimpo. <laughs> oh my god. No, not with my taxes. No. Oh my god, no. <laughs> the struggles of a filmmaker, of every artist in the world. Yeah, but what is the point? It you could be that you should be careful about your dick. Oh, it's him again, huh? <laughs> what? Ah. So the bear wanted to steal the girls, huh? These Aino stories are hilarious. I would love to hear more. Yeah, Tanigaki is definitely not human. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah, she's really good at bossing people around. Ah. And that's just how rain was made. Mm -hmm. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs>
<laughs> but it looks really good. <laughs> Early movie effects. Even the Russian is impressed. The woman is her mother. Hmm, her mother. She looks so much like income art. Yeah, it's obvious where she got her character from. Yeah, she <laughs> even the face. Hmm. Oh my god, it's her! Oh god, oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, what a lovely little family. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh damn! Oh, that's bad. That's really bad luck. But at least she got to see her mother. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe this is a metaphor for um, making peace with the past. You only keep your deepest or your, your most important memories inside your heart. Yeah, I understand. I get your point. Saying this, that's not true. Yeah, of course, he has his own plans, but he also wants to help Asipo.
but that puts her under so much pressure. He wants her to fight for uh, for her entire people. He doesn't even know if she really wants to do that. Yeah. It, it's a curse. That's what it is. Mm. That's quite egoistic, if you ask me. Mm. Yeah, he doesn't want her to become like him. He doesn't want her soul to be tainted by all these memories of people dying. It's like, we fight together, but, I, uh, but I'm not going to let you kill anyone because um, I want your soul to be pure. That's very noble of him. Yeah, but it was obvious she would get uh, doubts after seeing her father and her, her mother. Sweet lies. <clears throat> yeah, but I get a point. Memories and stories that have been passed on personally leave a much bigger impact than any movie can. Since most I know don't have access to these movies anyway, so it makes more sense to uh, pass it on in person. At least back then, okay, with our today's modern technology, it's a complete different thing. That was another great episode and I really like that Noda gave us another glimpse into Asipa's personal thoughts. She has problems to fulfill the role that Wilk has chosen for her. I'm really glad Sugimoto is with her to keep her grounded and to disperse her doubts because without him it would be much harder for her to handle that whole situation. Sooner or later she has to make a decision. So we're wrapping up here. Thank you for watching. I wish you a nice week. Stay safe and until next time. Bye bye.